everybody what is happening what is going on what is good welcome back to another uh, tutorial video uh, so I bought a new computer uh, for myself for Christmas the iMac can't remember which one it was but buying a new laptop or a new computer means yes you have to reinstall absolutely everything again everything that you have installed over the course of like six seven years just disappears and you have to bring it back so i've had to reinstall my uh my presets for my photos and i've had to install my luts for my video stuff i thought i may as well do a tutorial showing all of you how to actually install luts because uh yeah you know, everyone needs a tutorial. So that's exactly what we're gonna to do today. So for those of you who don't know what LUTs are, uh, LUT stands for lookup table. Uh, long story short, basically you have, you know, your standard looking clip here. Uh, and we want to make it just look, I don't know, just look a lot, the we want the color to look nicer. So um, let's delete this here because I already tried doing this tutorial before and I've had to re refilm it again. So we're gonna double click on that. And then we get to basically choose the LUTs that we want. All right, so we have Fujifilm, we have uh, Kodak. So for example, if you look at that there, we're gonna just click on that and it's gonna change the color. It's gonna just make it look more vibrant or just like, yeah, I, this is like a Kodak kind of color profile. This is a Fuji profile, which I feel looks almost kind of similar. Uh, like here, the Fuji Rec 709 and then the Kodak Rec 709 looks kind of similar. But yeah, so that is what a LUT is. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install the LUT, okay, into Final Cut Pro. So what we're first of all gonna do is you have to have, um, a, I guess, a software called LUT Utility. So this is by a company called Color Grading Central. Most people use this one. So with the LUT Utility, you have to purchase this, all right? The good thing though is that it comes with its own set of LUTs. Uh, and these LUTs are fantastic. The Fuji and the Kodak, I use them nonstop. Uh, I have purchased many, many LUTs in my time, but the ones that I always stick with are the Fuji and the Kodak. So, so yeah, I like those two, but let's say now you have a bunch of other LUTs. You're watching a YouTube video, I don't know, Peter McKinnon or something. You like the LUTs that he's got. So you buy them, you download them, they're there, right? Um, so <clears throat> here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to D LUTs. I like D LUTs are really cool. And this is what it's pretty much going to come out looking like. It's going to come out looking like this. You have all these files and you're like, what the hell do I do with these files? How do I install them in Final Cut Pro? So what we'll do is, uh, we'll get this one. It's very simple. All right. So we're just going to drag, highlight all of these. And once you install, um, LUT utility, you're going to just drag these, drop them into here. In fact, we drop them into there. I don't know. Just, I don't know why it says drag license file here when you have to do it there. And what you're going to find is you're going to see them all here, D LUTs, right? That's all you need to do. And it's honestly as simple as that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and click X, and we are going to go to Final Cut Pro. And what you're going to do is you're going to look in your uh, your LUT, uh, apply LUT thing, and you're gonna go down here. Now, what you're gonna find is you're not gonna see it, all right? It's not gonna come up, which is mostly what's gonna happen if you have Final Cut Pro on. So I think you know where I'm going with this. So you're gonna X Final Cut Pro, and then we're going to click on Final Cut Pro again. And once you reopen it, it should, once this loads up, it should just appear. Hey, yes, look, DLUT Cine 4. So we have them all here now, all right? So most people, what happens is they'll install their LUTs while, um, while Final Cut Pro is on, and then they'll see it's not there. Then they just start freaking out. Then they just keep you know, putting more LUTs in there, waiting for, you know, waiting for it to work, and it just becomes a total mess. If you have Final Cut Pro on, uh, all you do is drag the drag the LUTs into LUT utility, and then you're just going to turn off Final Cut Pro, and then turn it back on, and it will all be here. And as we can see, it is working perfectly fine. That really didn't do much. That didn't do much either. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go for it Something like that. I don't know why this is not working. Uh, let's try. <clears throat> uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Okay, there we go. I mean, most of them pretty much look the same. The big difference you'll find is when you are filming your uh, clips on like a flat picture profile, then the then there's a huge difference. But if you're filming it on like standard picture profile, they're all kind of going to look similar. Uh, but that is it. That's that's all you need to do to apply LUTs. So remember, purchase LUT utility. I'm pretty sure there are other, um, I guess, LUT installers that you can download, but I just find uh, the color grading central one is probably the best one. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Uh, this is just what I use and I've never had an issue with them. So yeah. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Simple as that. So go ahead. Good luck. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you click subscribe, uh, like this video as well. It'd be greatly appreciated and good luck with all your color grading, uh, things. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.